the 101 or the 411 on the foam roll 101. Here is my collection, and it's not even all of them, of foam rolling uh, implements, tools, ways uh, to do it. And once you uh, connect with the benefit, you're going to see water bottles in a whole new way, golf balls, anything um, cylindrical or maybe even not as a resource to release tension in the body through hydrating and uh, mobilizing. The foam roller, great warm up to your workouts, perhaps even more valuable than uh, to follow. But if you enjoy a foam roll after a workout, keep doing it, but maybe consider adding foam rolling as a standalone workout or as a warm up before. This 101 is really just to show all the ways a person may need to assist in foam rolling by using blocks to lift themselves up as you're um, foam rolling a body part just to get a little higher and lifted out of the shoulders and from shrugging um, or again to protect the wrist. You can also use uh, two foam rollers to pick up some of your weight again to lift um, Again, you won't get as much pressure into the body part you're rolling whether you're doing one body part um, or two at a time so doing one versus two you're going to get more intensity from that foam roll into the um, area you're trying to release. Um, speaking of areas, you're not just trying to do one area, one path, even if it's the one that hurts so good. You want to draw and pull out the tension from the symptom where you're feeling the most discomfort perhaps and go up and down, shearing by turning the leg like a rotisserie. This is just one body part I'm using again and again to demonstrate, but shearing and lengthwise, but not only that single path. Think of your body as a house and you're trying to paint it with an even coat across all surfaces. 